Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of base 10 number system. This is standard 4.2a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 2 of the 2024 release star test. This is a new item type called Hotspot. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so this hot spot, we need to find three correct answers. So notice if I select these first three and then try to select a fourth, you notice it's not going to let me do that, so I can't choose more than three. And if I only select two and try to move on, it is going to give me a warning saying I haven't answered the entire problem. So it is designed to try to make sure that you answer three, find three correct answers. So let's take a look at what we're supposed to do here. Each number shown has one digit circled. All right, so we're going to have to pay attention to what's circled, one digit underlined. In which numbers is the value of the circled digit 10 times the value of the underlined digit? Okay, so my circled digit needs to equal 10 times my underlined digit. All right, so let's just take a look at what we have here. All right, so... What we want to do is we want to find the values, and it looks like we are going to go up to the 10,000s. So let's build a place value chart here. All right, this is my 1s, this is my 10s, this is my 100s, this is my 1,000s period or my 1,000s family. So I've got my 1,000s, and I've got my 10,000s. It just repeats just with different family names. Watch what we can do here. So let's build first our 5,582. Remember, it says we need to find the numbers in which the value of the circled digit is 10 times the value of the underlined digit. So this is underlined. This is circled. So let's plug these in over here. So the value of this 5 right here, this is a 5 in the thousands. So this is going to be 5,000, right? The circle is in the hundreds place, so that's going to be a 500. So does 500 equal 10 times 5,000? Now, if they were to flip those, we'd be fine. But that's, what we're, that's what we're supposed to do here. So let's look at this next one. So I've got 20. 6,630. I've got my 6 circled there. My 6 underlined there. All right, so let's build it. So I've got a 6 in the thousands place, right? So that's going to be 6,000. And that needs to equal 10 times what is supposed to be underlined. Well, the 6 in the hundreds place is underlined. So that's 6 hundreds or 600. Now, does 6,000 equal 10 times 600? Yeah, when you multiply by 10, you just add a zero to the end. And every time you move over to the left one digit, you get 10 times bigger. Now, both digits have to be the same for it to be exactly 10 times, but each place value is worth 10 times more than the one to the right. So this one is good. So what we could do is we can go and select that one. And let's keep going now that we know what we're doing. So I've got 41,996. This first nine is circle. The second nine is underline. So let's try that. So that nine in the hundreds place is going to equal 10 times the nine in the tens place. That's 90. 900 equals 10 times 9. 90? Yeah. You just add a zero and you're good to go. So that one also works. So we just need one more. Okay. And let's look at, uh, you know what? We've got these two right here that don't have the two digits next to each other, so I don't think they're going to work. Let's try that last one, that 9,633. Because for it to be 10 times, they need to be next to each other. So that's going to be a 30 equals 10 times 3. And yes, that does work. So that is my final answer. That's how we get full credit.